But, while I'm there, I might as well kill the guy. So, okay, 459, 401. I didn't, I didn't like that thing anyway. What do you got? Plus three to life. That's crap. Uh, but yeah, I was never a fan of the MMO style. Not even in Final Fantasy XII. Uh, even though that was more like programming, I felt, than, and than MMO style. Uh, but they've brought a few of those. Yeah, while you're there, find the Blackened Temple within Travancall. Uh, the Blackened Temple, it's not listed by name, it's not a dungeon. Uh, we'll just come across it. Uh, we still need to find Colleen's Flail, which is in the Blackened Temple. And then uh, the Compelling Gorb, also in the Blackened Temple. Any guesses of where we're going to be going soon? Did I already empty this and sell that? I did. Uh, Diablo 3 doesn't have the pure MMO style where you auto attack all and, and all that kind of stuff. You use uh, a set of skills and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, you do use a set of skills, which is nice. It's a, I, I like it better than just having um, pretty much two skills here. Um, and of course, since I'm a paladin, I don't have like any skills. I have to switch out to get my skills. Um, but... There are four skills. I like how it's set up. It's not set up badly. And I'm out of room. Okay. Uh, you can go there, and then uh, you can go there, and I'll figure out the rest afterwards. That's fine. We are very close to uh, to getting the flail and being able to, to get all this stuff done. Uh, so a lot of people, I guess, were upset with uh, how it had changed, um, but... I didn't, I didn't think it was too big of a change from Diablo 2, you know, most of the complaints that I heard uh, were that uh, it was easy, and I'm like, there's five difficulty levels, if you guys want to keep going, keep going, you know, normal difficulty is kind of just for people that are trying to level up new characters, or people that just want to get through the story, so they made it easier probably than normal. Yeah, it's okay. Not as good as what I got, though. Not as good as what I got. Mm, no, not as good. Well, it does have a poison length down. But I got, I got something better right now. Now the curse causeway is not very big at all. We're almost to Carven Call. Um, there's just uh, a, I think just these two. Ah, fuck you guys. Oh, mana burn. Awesome. One hit, and my mana is gone. Rust froth, I hate you. Alright, uh, let's grab one of these regular heals and use that. This can go in there. It didn't bring all that in. I know, I'm, I'm very long-winded today. But, I'm sure some of you like what I have to say. Um, <laughs> it... Diablo 3 is a not pure MMO. Uh, th the only thing that, that makes it kind of MMO style is that um, instead of just having mana, at least my character... I can't carry anymore. Really? Already? I'm already out of... As soon as I find something good. As soon as I find something good. I'm out of identifies. Wait, was there a bat just hanging out up here? No. Okay. They, uh, instead of having a set mana that you use, my character at least, had to uh, kind of work his way up. So I had I had basically two attacks that I was using. One on left click, just like here, and then one on right click. If, if you have a skill set over here, you right click to use that. Um, I, I think I've gone over that before, but in case I didn't, th there I explained it. Um, and it, it was pretty much the same thing for that, except on top of those there were four skills. But okay, so the left cl the left click that I had was going to build, I think uh, because I was a barbarian, it was Fury, uh, technically, that I was using. It, he built up Fury, and then right click was a spell that was a, was a skill spell, whatever, that caused, uh, that used Fury. And it all made sense, it all made sense. Portal Shrine! It's there. Might as well use it. Not going to use it to go back, but I'll open it up. And we've got Night Lords and Zealots. And one thing I hate about Travel Call. I absolutely hate about Travel Call. Even though it is my favorite place to level grind here. 
is that they have enemies up here. They have them up here. So if you don't have an accurate an accurate way of dealing damage to them like I do, I don't, then they become very difficult to deal with. And I might as well just abandon it. Yeah, I'm gone. And I can't really do anything about it. Uh, the, the wrap around here goes all the way to the back. And the back is where all the high level dudes are hanging out. So I don't want to go up there. Might as well go down and kill them though. Because they are annoying the crap out of me. Die. Where'd you go? No, die. Seriously, die. Why don't people die when I tell them to? But in case you ever wanted to hear my thoughts on MMOs, that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing that I hate about MMOs is that you... It's not that um, you have the option to, to, to have, like, teammates. It's that you pretty much have to use teammates. Like, like for instance, World of Warcraft, they had instances. And they had dungeons. In order to go to the dungeons, you pretty much needed four other people. If you wanted to do most of the interesting things in the game, you needed to find four other people. And considering that I, you know, I tend to play at weird hours because I'm on the I'm on the West Coast and I play late. Nobody was on. I struggled at all times. Didn't matter what level I was, what dungeon I was going into, I had trouble finding anybody to get into a dungeon with me. And by the time I found somebody, I was like, now I want to sign off. <laughs> you know, it was easily 20, 30 minute waits for me to fill out a, a, a roster to go to, into a dungeon. And that's no fun. That's no fun for me. Oh, God, I hate this thing. I mean, I'm just doing this for experience right now. I can't loot any of these guys for anything. Right. Uh, they didn't even drop anything that great anyway. You know, just gold, pretty much. Ah, gotcha! <laughs> you strayed too far. Too far from the edge. But, yeah, that's my opinion on MMOs. I'm, I'm not that big of a fan of them because they require... Yeah, they typically require to do anything fun other players that I usually have trouble finding because yeah uh, typically I play um, what time is it now it's like 12 30 one o'clock my time so if you're on the East Coast you know I'm not expecting you guys to be up at 4 a.m. so that you guys can play a couple rounds with me in, in any game that I might be doing you know what I mean? Good day. I think you do. Greetings. That's just my take on it, though. Okay, so we got plus five strength, plus ten dexterity, fire resist, half freeze duration. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. I think I'm gonna get rid of them, but they do have faster run, run walk, which is nice. But yeah, sorry. So that's why typically I've never been a fan of uh, of games that required other people. Though I, I typically like to do things solo or or with a partner, maybe co-op. What am I doing? I need to go this way. But that's just me. You know, a lot of other people. Oh, quest law! Kill the high council. Like I said, while you're there. <laughs> Uh, they are uh, near here. Uh, we must be pretty high up in the town because they haven't shown up yet. You'll know them when you see them. Those guys are hard to miss. They are hard to miss. And they are the reason that this is the best place to level grind in, in Act 3. Once I come across them, we should be seeing at least one soon. <laughs> These are not them. Damn higher fonts. I don't know how to say that particularly well, but that's how I go for our more night lords. The high council are their own um, their own mob, so you know, they'll stand out in a group. Ooh, flood sapphire. 
But yeah, I typically like to do games that I can do by myself. Um, at least beat the story by myself. You know, once we start going into, well, if you want to do this, you gotta have players with you. Ah, just fuck off. <laughs> because I don't expect people to play he at this time. I don't, you know, demand that players play at the time that I play, and therefore I don't find very many people that play at the time that I do. It's one of uh, one of the the bad things about being on the West Coast. That and uh, football. Hard to watch football games. Here, the High Council. They have the Guardian spell. Do you guys remember the Guardian spell from from Diablo One? They cast fire on you just all the damn time. Until they finally disappear. And there are special ones here, as if the High Council weren't hard enough. Almost got him down. There are a lot of them, too. Uh, one of them will be holding Kaleem's flail. Alright, it looks like I am out of... Uh, should have switched to my secondary weapon. What am I doing? Do I not even need to heal? No, I do need to heal. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! I was very close to dead. Alright, switch. There we go. Okay. Plated belt. Kaleem's flail. Can I pick up Kaleem's flail? Sweet. Damn it, there's another one alive in there somewhere. Where is he? He's just a regular guy. Uh, usually there's two or three specials here. And that's why this is the best place to, 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 to go, usually, at this point in the game. Ask Kane for help. Ask Kane about that. So story that. Yeah, of course. I carry uh, do need to pick that up. And... Can this... Sweet. Battle staff, ethereal. Don't care. Seriously, they dropped a like two ethereal things. That's ridiculous. Kane, I need your help with two different things. Once properly imbued, Kalim's flail can destroy the compelling orb and reveal the way to Mephisto. Place it into the Horodric cube along with Kalim's relics, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, transmute them to carry out Kalim's will. Ridding Kurast of the Council of Zakarum was essential. Still, there is more you must do. The compelling orb, too, must be destroyed. Diablo and Bale must be close to finding their brother Mephisto by now. You've no time to waste. Okay, thank you. You didn't really tell me anything, though. I don't have my items. Did I complete your quest? I did. This one. Transmute the... Yeah, okay. Good evening. That can be done. Uh, I can't even wear the belt. Fine, then. Yeah, it sells for 25. I, I mean, I might as well pick it up, because... Whatever. This still sells pretty well. Wow, I did not expect it to sell that well. Don't remember picking that up. But now, we can take out these. This is what, yeah, I'm like, I need to make room somehow. Ah, uh, yes, I can take these out. And, uh, God, I think it's taking up more room than I would like it to. Is there anything in here? There still is something in here. But, let's put all these in there, and we can make... The special object. Kalim's will! It's uh, not bad in terms of an actual weapon, but you never get to use it really well. I mean, you get to use it, but just once. <laughs> just once. You need to buy the great axe now. Oh, that sucked. Good lord, that thing was huge and you didn't have anything to do with it. You have anything to say now? Masterfully done, hero. You have crafted Kalim's will. Employ it to destroy the compelling orb and open the way to Mephisto. May the true light guide your way. Nice. So, we have completed another quest? No. Smash the compelling orb. Smash the compelling orb. Fine. So demanding. What else was here? Short battle bow. Not that great. Uh, but... 
Honestly, those were horrible drops that I got from the High Council. Uh, the Compelling I Orb. Can't. You can't. You need to actually equip Kalim's Will. I've never understood why they make you do that. Wait a second. Wait a second. It didn't do it? Let's try it again. There we go. I think you need to do it twice. I've always needed to do it twice. I don't understand why. But just doing that has opened up the way to the Durant of Heat. Uh, but I'm actually not going to be going down there today because those drops were awful. I actually want to, like, it, it makes me want to do it again just because of how bad those drops were. Two of them were ethereal, damn it. I'm not saying I need upgrades for myself. I would like upgrades, but I don't say I need them. Just, hey, not ethereal. Now, this is the only s other spot you can go in uh, on these up here, is, is the two spots back here. Uh, that's why this part, though, this is why I do not like Travancore. How dare you not make me like a spot where I can love going so much. <laughs> How does that feel? Just got knocked out by two hammers to the chest. All right. Uh, are they really running away from me because I killed the Hierophants? It's bullcrap. And uh, that actually looks like that is going to do it. Because they keep running. They don't want to fight me. I won't make them. <laughs> so that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. When we come back next time, I'll have uh, cleared out Travan's Hall, Travan Call, sorry, Travan Call, one more time, and then we can head into the Durance of Hate. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Bala Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.